Hello everyone, welcome back to another Dawson video. I'm doing two videos back to back to make up for lost time. I hope you guys are enjoying the videos so far. And let's get down into World of Warships. With a carrier. Now if you guys remember the first time I used the carrier was when my friend Zero was here. Which I'm sorry Zero if I accidentally got you on the video. And I didn't edit the video because I was lazy and basically that's it. But I am back up in editing videos. I have a new stamp. A ho show. Normal. Let's get in. I will be talking a lot to myself now that I got the carrier. Now let's go take a look at the carrier. I have fully integrated this carrier. It's fully upgraded, has its anti-aircraft guns. Plans are now online. And we're about to find out how well I do.
Not doing so well this round, you guys. You should have saw me earlier when I first got this thing. I'm sorry I'm being quiet, it's just, you gotta be concentrated, concentrated when you're being a carrier because one false move, you're done. And I don't want to be done yet. Ooh, I have an idea. That Congo, which is a new ship that I have seen never which I doubt is actually really new I will send my bombers to go meet it and my torpedo bombers and then escort torpedo bombers because I know my torpedo bombers are slow so as long as I stick with 
the bombers and protect them no matter what. I'm gonna die. If he gets torpedoes on me, I'm dead. But if he keeps pouncing me like this, I'm die dead either way. But I will get my planes off of this ship. And we'll send. Fuck. Never mind. This is what I mean, you gotta be concentrated if you're being a carrier. Cause if you don't concentrate, these types of guys find you and kill you. Of course, I bet he already knew where the hell I would have been hiding. Cause the best place to hide as a carrier is at the edge of the freaking screen. Which makes perfect logical sense. Well, I'm going to end this video here, you guys, after we finish watching my ship sink. Which is going to take a long-ass while. So I'm just going to sit back, listen to music, while it dies. Now, here's the thing. What could have, what could I have done different? A lot. I could have had my planes near me, defending me at all costs. Yet no. And now we slip beneath the waves, say goodbye to all those flags. Ooh, I know what ship that is. It costs money, though. Oh, but that sound, though. Switch. This was an anime ship. Now, what the anime ships were, were they're just thrown in there randomly, and then you can buy them with Bitcoin. But I had no bitcoins to spare and bitcoins cost money if you haven't got any bitcoins in any of the crates and I didn't feel like spending at least over I think this ship cost around 14 no around 40 dollars they're really expensive if you don't have the coins but they're really stupid at the same time. I wouldn't recommend it. This is a Wyoming, I do believe. Yep. This is a fully upgraded Wyoming. This. Oh, God. We might as well be asking for trouble. 
This is another... This is Russian. But we have sunk in 90% of their ships. This ship... I have no idea what this ship is for. Oh, uh, this is a buy ship. It's a buy ship. Now you guys may be wondering what's with the flags that this person has on their thing. Like besides for the country flag, all the other flags. You can get those flags. But um, you have to pick what crate you want to get flags is really cool. Because they also add a little bit of perks to your ship. Now it's helpful. And if you guys haven't noticed, there is a timer up on the top. I think it's the right screen on the top, right above where all of my medals are, where it says times four, times one fire, times two bomb drops, times one defeated, times three torpedoes. Right above it is a timer, and we have about two minutes before time runs out. And basically, we've already won. But I will end this video here, you guys. I hope you enjoyed seeing the power of the aircraft carrier, how it sucks, how it... Well, there are its up and downs, but some people prefer, prefer it where I am trying to get used to the new... Oh, there's its there's the Hosho. Oh, no, no. I want to watch the Hosho die. Let me watch it die. There goes the Hosho. Wherever their last guy is, which is probably going to be at A. Yeah, he's probably at A. Those fighters have nowhere left to go. Basically, once your ship dies, your fighters, your planes, they have nowhere left to go. The only thing they can do is fly around until they run out of fuel. And it's really cool to watch your planes splash down in the ocean. But it's also a bummer when you lose your planes. Because when you lose planes, it's just a bummer. Because you just lost a whole squad. Up oh, there he is. And he's about to, might be about to get killed. Oop. He's still alive. This thing looks like it's doing like 30 knots. How the hell are you doing 30 knots? I don't even see your railings. Oh, there we go. Ah, pretty good secondary guns. A lot of anti-aircraft weaponry. And we won. I wanted to stick to that in the round so I could nick pick on what the cool differences of all these ships are there's a lot of disadvantages and advantages of being a battleship or being a cruiser or being a destroyer or being an aircraft carrier for one being an aircraft carrier you gotta have a lot of patience and you have to have a lot of tactical st skills that I currently do not have with the Langley but my next carrier which I'm planning to get is I believe the bone actually I can show you guys what the, what I mean by crates if I go over here see here I have my crates if I open up the crates I can choose between credits flags consumables and try my luck what try your luck is is it's a random box it could be anything a cool ship from a cool ship to something really sucky like coins and all that but I will go for do 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 do. Let's go for camo and that. And let's open the container and see what we get. See, we got paint, we got some more flags. It's good. Now, you may be wondering how I equipped my flags. You go to exterior. And you can add your paint jobs and see what they would look like on the ship. You can go here. 
negative flooding recovery time, negative time fire extinguishing, negative 100% risk of mag demolition, ship post services, it's just a flesh wound, ship's maximum speed, two AAs and gunners to all the way to above. And I'm gonna disable that so I know shouldn't have any flag. I should only have a couple flags equipped. But that's gonna do it with this video guys. Next video will be a Legends of Equestria and I will be recording at five in the afternoon or maybe four in the afternoon tomorrow Pacific Standard Time on the American server and if you guys feel like trying to hunt me down and join and appear in a video on Legends of Equestria feel free to download the game I'll be leaving a link down in the description below to the download site make sure you get the launcher because if you don't get the launcher you won't find me I will be typing in chat most of the video I hope you guys have enjoyed this video of me playing as an aircraft carrier because when I unlocked this bad boy I thought it was going to be fun but eh, clearly it was the opposite it wasn't it wasn't as fun as I thought it would be but I hope you guys enjoyed this video I do plan to unlock the Hosho which is a Japanese aircraft carrier hoping that it might be a bit better but I doubt it because I've ran into the Hosho it's got better planes, but um, it's all on what your captain is. Mine is a lieutenant, therefore I have more experience than anything else. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a like, leave a comment down below. I love to hear from you guys. And remember, I hope to see all you in the next video. And remember, hugs all around. So, bye-bye.